Alexa, stop. All right, what is going on, guys? Bubbles back again, and let's just get right into it. Um, I messed up on my video, <laughs> and I'm really glad that Kaneki brought it up. He's like, he's like, you're kind of com you're comparing the resurrected skills with the resurrected skills, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I did just wake up home, uh, but I, I, it, it's 8 a.m. now instead of 7 a.m. I've been up for an hour now, and uh, yeah, let's just let me quickly go, <laughs> go over these resurrections, because. <laughs> <laughs> For the Yoruichi and the and the Nemu, I thought Kalab didn't change jack shit, and I'm just sitting here like I'm like, ain't no way Kalab really just gave them new soul trait and then called it a day, bro. I'm like, yo, Kalab, you suck. But uh, yeah, it's not that's actually not the case, which is good. So let's quickly actually pull all this stuff up. This is gonna be the original six star Yoruichi skills, and we can compare it to her new skills. Oh, oops, let me uh, bring that over here. Uh, okay, so let's do this. So you'll see here that she originally had Bruiser, Debilitator, Devastation, Freeze Immunity, Frenzy, and Sprinter Plus One. She does, she is a Yoruichi, so she has four flash steps built into her kit. Apologies for my art. Um, I, I, I didn't really take an art class in paint, right? So uh, we do have damage to frozen enemies plus 20%, so that's going to be new. Devastation, 40, Freeze Immunity. That's it? That's all she gets? Okay. Still pretty mid. She picks up uh, damage to frozen enemies plus 20%, and then we also have the strong attack damage 16%. Her picking up Berserker 16% for her soul trait is kind of nice because that's another strong attack recharge, strong attack damage link. And since she's a seasonal unit, chances are not many people are going to be pulling, or not many people are going to have her. So since she is turning into a good link, it might incentivize people to one, go for her character pack over time or for the character in like with the passport for example so it actually gives you a reason to go for a character that's resurrected because you get a lot of orbs and she's also a good link i like that next going into nemu she actually didn't pick up all that much either but at least she did pick up some stuff so nemu she does pick up recover 16 percent stamina between quests that's going to be nice since she does have a nad link and that means that this can be go on to a nad character that's heart for the soul trait and then why is her art so cute? I love the Miyuri. I love the little Asi Josie. Asi, oh, I forget his name. I apologize. Uh, either way, her Berserker is going to get bumped up 10% from 30% to 40%. Keeps her Bombardment. Bruiser, 40%. She's picking up damage to confuse enemies plus 40%. Um, for some reason, when I originally saw that, I'm like, she, or, she had that back in the day? I'm like, I don't remember this. But yeah, she's picking up damage to confuse enemies plus 40%, which is going to be really nice because she does have confusion and bombardment on her soul bomb. And that is actually really, really, really cool because that means that her bombardment with uh, her lack of devastation is going to be dealing even more damage, right? Because bombardment damage to confuse enemies plus 40%. That's pretty much 40% more damage to your soul bomb. And she already had weakened defense, so you can give her times to double weaken defense with t15 t20 so she doesn't really pick up all that much but what she does pick up is that damage to confuse enemies and then with the double weaken defense her soul bomb is going to go crazy and then recover 16 percent stamina if you want to use her as a nuker in regular pve content you can do that would not really recommend it but you can <laughs> do that uh next we do have retsu so let's uh, grab her skills from her six star version and this character is going to be picking up a Berserker of 20%, which is kind of nice. Uh, she keeps the Bruiser, keeps the Debilitator 2 seconds, Devastation, Frenzy, Sprinter, uh, Weaken Attack. So she pretty much just picks up Last Ditch Survival 80%, which is standard when it comes to the Soul Trait. And then she also picks up Berserker 20%, so she's going to deal a little bit more damage. These characters are not really that great. Like, their kits are very, very old and outdated. Even by their standards, it was... Their kit was already pretty mid, like Retsu had the split three-way uh, first strong attack. Her second strong attack is the vacuum explosion. Not, it's not very good. And then Yodoichi, I remember her having the 40% mag first strong attack. I might be wrong. Oh yeah, 40% mag first strong attack, but no havoc. Second strong attack, 575. I believe this was a lunge. Um, and then standard full screen third strong attack. Really, really wonky kit, even back then. But um, yeah, it is cool that they're getting resurrected. I expected... Um, I expected them to wait a little bit longer. We are getting a Thousand Year Blood War banner. If you don't watch my shitty summon for the Thousand Year Blood War banner, because it's an easy skip, I will be making mention that we're probably going to get the res the rerun of 
Ichigo Ch Chad Uryu that came out in, at the end of September. Sometime soon, maybe in the next uh, month and a half, right? So be wary of that. I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, as grind, I'll catch up here. We'll stay blessed. Take care. See y'all in the next one. Peace. Thank you, Kaneki, for, for calling me out on my shit. Appreciate it.